Smart Suite is powerful, but when it comes to advanced data analysis or financial forecasting, Google Sheets can be the better option. In this video, I will show you three different ways to get your data out of Smart Suite and into Google Sheets. One of them is manually, but it's quite quick. You do have to go in and make a couple of selections. The other two contain automations. Check it out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our website, innerdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. As this video is about moving data from SmartSuite into Google Sheets so that you can perform your advanced data analysis, you will need a couple of accounts. Obviously, you'll need a SmartSuite account. There is a link in the description below to get started if you do not have an account already and your Google account. There's one other tool. The last automation I will show will be using relay.app to be able to automate and perform some slightly more advanced automations and it gives you a lot more flexibility. So if you don't have an account there and you are interested in using that tool, there is a link in the description below for that as well. But the first two are built right into SmartSuite. One, you can export your custom view into Google Sheets and you can also set up an automation within Google Sheets. The first thing that we're gonna do, I'm just gonna look at my list of invoices and we'll imagine that I want to do some sort of a manipulation with the data inside Google Sheets based off of the invoices list. If we just want to take this view and import all of the invoices into Google Sheets, SmartSuite has made that really easy for us. There is this icon here. And if we click that, we can use this export option. This will export anything within the given view. If you only want to limit it to invoices within a given date range, or based off of a certain status, you can come over here and create an additional view. So I've got one here that's being filtered by the status of paid. So if I go and export this view right here, it's only gonna move the invoices that I can see. So that, like I said, you can do this based off of date ranges and whatever else you wanna filter by. You can create those custom reports from SmartSuite into Google Sheets. Now this is the one that's a little more manual, you'll have to come in here and take action to be able to get the data over there. So what you do, you come over to this, the three dots here, we'll click export, and we will just click this Google Sheets option. There's a couple other options here, Microsoft Excel and CSV, but it's really easy to move to Google Sheets. Now you have to sign in to your Google account, and from there, everything else is pretty straightforward. So once you've clicked export, signed in sometimes you have to go back into the export option and do it again after the initial sign in and then you'll just have to approve the connections then you'll go in click this open report button and inside google sheets we can see that it has imported all of the data from this view this is a great option if you want to take data from just certain points in time or based off of certain filters but it does require you to do some manual steps so that's the first option. The second option is to create an automation within Smart Suite. It is a little more limited. So depending on what you're trying to get out of it, this may not be the best option for you. But for example, let's say that I wanted to move one of these records or move the data from one of these records into Google Sheets every time that it is paid. I can do that by going up here, clicking on the title, go to automations and we'll create a new automation. I'll just label this invoice paid add to sheets. And then the trigger can be when a record matches a condition and when the condition has a status of paid. And then the action, we can go down to Google Sheets and add a new row. You'll have to connect your SmartSuite account to Google again, but we'd go in here, you can see I have a couple connections already and I will just select one of them. I have a Google sheet here already set up with headers that align with the data that I wanna pass in from SmartSuite. I've selected that Google sheet here, and then it will ask you to select a worksheet, which is one of these two options here. So I'm gonna start with the SmartSuite sheet. I'll select that from our dropdown. 
And then once it finds the headers within that sheet, I can go in here and start mapping the fields. I'll just show you a couple of these. If we select amount, this is the amount that is within the Google sheet header. And I can pass in data from the record that meets that condition. I'll just pass the amount in and to keep things simple, I've labeled the columns within or the fields within smart suite, the exact same as the columns within Google sheets. We've got customer name plus icon and pass in customer name. I'm just going to quickly map the rest of the fields. Now that I have all the fields mapped, I can add this automation and I will turn it on. Now, if I go back to here and I can see my unpaid or overdue invoices, and I'll just go in and I will mark this one as paid. And then if I go back into the automations here, select the automation and go up to history, we can see the automation was successful. If I go over to Google sheets, we can see that the data was passed in related to that specific invoice that I had just marked as paid. That's option number two that is automated, but again, it is slightly more limited to what you can accomplish within the smart suite native automation. Last thing I'm going to show you, and this is going to be using a tool called relay.app link in the description below. But what we're going to do here is create a scheduled automation. So on a given date, it's going to look for some sort of criteria and it's going to pass in all of those records that match the criteria into Google sheets. So we'll go over to relay new workflow, and I'm just going to call this smart suite to sheets. I need to add a trigger. I'm going to do this based off of a schedule. There's a lot of different options that you can do for a trigger, but I want to do it on a schedule. I'm going to just click this start single run on schedule, and I might run it on the uh, fifth of each month. I need to add a smart suite step, and then I need to go find the table that we are working in, which is within the smart suite and Google sheets solution and in the invoice list table. Got the smart suite and Google Sheets solution. Now I can select this invoice list and I'm going to select this all matching records in a list. And now I can add the filters. The first filter that I'm going to add is a status filter. What I'm gonna do with this report is I wanna look at all overdue invoices. I can go in here, select the status of overdue and I want to look at overdue invoices before a certain period of time. I want to make sure that the invoice date is five days before this report, or at least five days before this report is running. Now we can imagine that we have some sort of due date that we're actually going to base this off of in reality, but for this demo, I'm just going to use the invoice date because I'm running this report on the fifth of each month. I actually want to go back in time to December 1st and say anything before December 1st is what I actually want to include within this report. The invoice date comes before, and then we can select a reference date. And this is going to be based off of the workflow run start date, which is going to be the fit of each month. We can go minus five days and I will click save. And now that filter is set up correctly. The behavior here, if no records are found, I just want it to continue and it won't worry about creating the report for me. I've also tested this and we can see that it has found five invoices. If I go back into Smart Suite and we look at the overdue invoice list, we can see that there's five of them and they all are before December 1st. If I select this and because it's actually the 10th today, I will bump it up a few additional days and set it on the 7th of December. If I go back to relay and I will run this test again, I open the list here. We can see that now there is only four invoices that match that criteria, which makes sense because this invoice is less than five days ago. Now that's found these invoices I can go into the next step here. We'll go flow control and we're going to add in an iterator because it can find multiple records. So we need to add each record to Google Sheets. We'll go and select the list that was found within this and we will do this for every item in the list. 
Uh, within the iterator step, this is where we can add the Google Sheets connection and we will add a row to a sheet. Now, I have a Smart Suite demo spreadsheet already and I have a relay sheet that I'm going to add it to. Now we insert this at the bottom of the sheet. We can click this add field here, which is all of the fields to populate. Similar to Smart Suite, we add in the field and then the data that is going to be found within each of the records here within Smart Suite. This is invoice ID. We have invoice date, and that can come from the invoice date field. Save that. And I'm just going to quickly add each additional field. Once I've mapped all of the fields, I can hit done and we will do a test run. It will go through each step here. And now it's adding each row to Google Sheets. If I go into Google Sheets, we can see all of the data was passed in. So using Relay.app allows us to create more customized reports on some sort of schedule basis or really any other trigger that you would like to use. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tutorials in the future.